There are a ton of opportunities when it comes to minting new CNFT projects. You really can make a ton of money simply getting into these different public mints and flipping them as soon as they sell out. But part of the problem is, is the difficulty to mint these actual projects. A lot of times our transactions can fail and we don't actually get the NFT that we tried going for. I've said multiple times on my channel that Daedalus Wallet is the best wallet to use for this situation. It is way better than the competitors out there, including Nami and CC Vault. The reason why Daedalus cooks up so much more than the other wallets is that you're actually running off of your own node. So instead of sharing a, a, a mempool of a ton of transactions, let's say on Nami where they use like Black Forest, I believe, you are creating your own node. And that's why the chances of a transaction going through are way higher. So if you really want to elevate your chances of success, then you're going to have to run Daedalus. But Daedalus completely kills your computer. And that's why we are going to use AWS or cloud servers in order to run Daedalus on so it's not absolutely destroying our computer. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up and that way you can elevate your chances and really start cooking up these different drops. AWS servers are really, really cool. Basically, you are opening up this cloud server where you're using their hardware and their storage and their computers and it's all hooked up with very insane Wi-Fi. Like I'm talking about like, 5,000 gigs or more a second, plus you have very low ping. So you're able to use these different cloud servers whenever you want, turn them on, turn them off, and you pay by the hour. So what's really cool is if Daedalus is taking up too much storage or just craps your computer and your local computer isn't good enough, you can open up these different servers I'm about to show you and you can spend, let's say, $1.40 per hour, go for a couple of these different mint drops that are coming up and then simply close the server and not pay for it anymore. So super, super cool stuff. The first thing you guys are gonna have to do though is you're gonna have to open up an account. You're gonna be able to open up a free account under AWS free tier, and I'm gonna show you guys all of the links in the description. You're going to need your phone number for this, your address for this, you're gonna need your credit card for this. They are taking all of that information up front, so make sure you have all of those things ready. Once you have your Amazon account set up and your payment information in there, what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the main console page, and you'll be able to see uh, an option called launch a virtual machine with EC2. So all you're gonna do is click on that and it's going to come up with all these different basically software programs that you can use for it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for Windows 16 base, which is this one. Make sure that it says free tier eligible and then you're going to hit select. You're then going to scroll down or you're gonna do control F and this little window will pop up and you'll be able to type in D3E. So the one we're gonna want to use is going to be this D3EN.2X large. The reason is, is because that is going to give us eight cores of uh, CPU, and that's also going to give us 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now you can scale this down and potentially go with just the extra large rather than the two extra large, but you're getting half the RAM and half the CPU usage. Yes, it's cheaper, but we're really not using this server that often. So I personally like to have the higher RAM just because of how resource intensive Daedalus is. You're going to select your option, whichever one you're, you end up going with. I'm going with the two extra large just because I like that extra speed and at the bottom right you're going to see review and launch. Click on that. Now when you scroll down you'll be able to see this little storage button. Click on that and you'll notice that you're only getting 30 gigabytes of storage. This isn't enough. We're going to have to change that. Daedalus uses so much more storage than 30 gigs. I had even set it to 50 gigs and it wasn't enough storage. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit this edit storage button over here and, for, and just for safety purposes, because you can't change the storage amount after the fact, I like to do 100 gigabytes. Now you are going to pay a little bit more money each month for having more storage, but it is definitely gonna be worth it just in case that all these nodes keep needing uh, basically more resources and storage to sync. It's much better to have more gigabytes than you need so you don't have to run into that situation. Once you put the 100 in, you're gonna be able to hit review and launch. You're gonna be able to scroll down and you're going to be able to hit launch. Now what's gonna happen is you're going to create a new pair, a new key pair, and it's very important that you don't lose this key pair. What you're going to do guys is you're gonna select create a new key pair 
have it on the RSA, give the pair a name, and then you can download the key pair. Now what's cool about this is you can open it up on your notepad and now all of a sudden you are going to have this RSA private key. This key is going to enable you to actually launch and get into these instances. If you lose this key, you won't be able to get into your instances. So make sure you save this in a couple places and maybe even email it to yourself. When I went to try to launch the instance, it said that it needs to verify my account information more. I had just made this account to demonstrate this to you guys, but now I'm gonna go on my main account and actually show y'all what to do at this point. You're probably gonna have to wait a good couple hours in order for you to get verified before you're able to do this stuff. Once you're able to actually launch your instance, you should see it on this main console, right? You would hit launch instance and it'll bring you to this page. This is personally the instance that I just made. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select that and you're going to hit connect up here. Once you connect, you're gonna to go to RDP client and you're going to hit get password. Now, once you hit get password and it takes a couple minutes for this to pop up, that's when you would enter that key that you just saved or emailed yourself. That RSA private key, that's when you would paste it into here and then you would get that password. Once you have your password copied, it's gonna show up over here. You're going to hit download remote desktop file. You're going to paste that password that you just got and you are going to connect. Once this connection happens, that server will be open. When you open your server, it's going to be very bare bones. There's a couple things you need to do to get started. At the bottom left, you're gonna have this Windows button. You're gonna click on that and you should see Server Manager. Click on that. Up at the top left over here, you'll see that it says Local Server. You're gonna click on that and then over here where it says IE Enhanced Security Configuration, you have to turn that off. It's gonna be on on. You're going to have to turn both of these off. The other thing I would do is I would change your time zone to the correct time zone. So for me, I'm in the you know Eastern United States, so I could change that by clicking change time zone and mostly starts off at UTC. I just like to have it on the correct time zone so I don't randomly freak out and think I missed a drop. At this point in time, I would go on your Internet Explorer browser and I would go to Google Chrome and download Google Chrome so you never have to use Internet Explorer again. And then you can set that to default. Now that you're using Google Chrome, all you have to do is go to datalesswallet.io slash en slash download or just go to my description and you'll be able to see the download for Dataless Wallet. All you're gonna do is hit download Dataless and you're gonna you know, hit run and install it like any other program. Once that download is complete, you should have Dataless up and running. So now it's taking time to sync. I personally started syncing this this morning and this is the part that takes a while. It takes so long for this to sync it's probably going to take a good six hours and unfortunately you are going to be paying for this server while it's syncing. One thing that I'd recommend is every time before a drop that you start your server a couple hours before just so it can be fully synced so you don't have to worry about missing a drop. Yes, you're going to have to pay, I believe, $1.40 for every single hour, but think about this, guys. If you spend three hours, and let's say you just spent $6 on those three hours to go for this drop, you could potentially make hundreds or 500 or 60 or 100, whatever number you want to say, like you can make that from getting into these different drops. So yes, we are spending money and it's unfortunate that we have to do it this way, but if your computer can't handle it, it is definitely worth that expense. Because for every additional public drop you get, like this is just gonna pay for itself. Like when Zombie Hunters first came out, they were 60 ADA, a lot of them were selling for over 100 ADA. That's 40 ADA profit, which is 40 bucks. So it's like big whoop if you spend $6 on running this server for that drop to happen. And it, by using this, maybe you would have been able to get five of them, 10 of them, 15 of them. Like Dataless is so much better and it's worth that additional expense. The other thing I wanna bring up here is connecting your NAMI wallet to your data list. So if you do that, and I'm going to put a video link in the description where this guy had gone over it, you're going to be able to use your NAMI wallet and utilize the node from data list. So some of these different public drops like uh, cornucopias that's dropping tomorrow, you have to use data list. Or what you can do is you can use NAMI, 
using your Daedalus, right? So I'm gonna put that link in the description, but over here, I downloaded Nami and I just sent some ADA over. I'm gonna be going for that Cornucopia's drop tomorrow and I'm gonna link my Nami wallet to this Daedalus wallet. So now I'm going to be able to have way faster th transactions than everyone else and it's going to be more secure and less likelihood of failing. So if I'm able to get that drop tomorrow, once again, this might be an example where, I, yes, I paid 120 ADA and maybe I spent six, eight dollars running this server, but who knows? Maybe that thing will go for 200, 250, and now all of a sudden that was well worth the expense and the time doing this. Now I haven't been able to test this out yet just because it's taking so long for my Daedalus wallet to sync, but once I do have the ability to test it, I'm gonna test it and tweet out whether or not you're able to do it on the server. I know I had commented in, in his post and he said it should work fine, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I haven't tested that part yet. Once you're done using your server, you can go back to your main console page and you can click on your server. All you have to do is go to instance state at the top and hit stop and then hit stop and now it's done. So make sure that it actually successfully stops. Like I one time accidentally left it running and it costed me a lot of money. So make sure you refresh and that it is actually stopping. This server is gonna cost you $1.40 per hour and then I believe $10 a month as well. So if you end up not using your server at all, make sure that you're actually going to instant state and terminating the server and that will completely wipe everything on it. Only do that if you are like just not into this whole server strategy, otherwise just hit stop. You'll see here guys that I have multiple servers running. The reason is is because I have Daedalus wallets on every single server. So like this is one of the servers, this is another server and I'm having them all sync right now. The reason is is because I'm gonna be able to go on my computer and I'm gonna be able to easily go on all each of these different servers and maybe instead of just having one Daedalus wallet while I'm trying to put one transaction through at a time where sometimes you can get the same UTXOs and like you, you can't do multiple at the same time sometimes, well now I have four different wallets I can do this on. And on each of those different servers, I also have a unique NAMI wallet that is also funded. So instead of just being able to get one, now I might be able to get four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is really another benefit of the servers. It's like you might just have one computer that you're running Daedalus on and you obviously can't have two instances of Daedalus running on your computer, but now because you can use these Amazon uh, cloud servers, now all of a sudden you can have four, five, six, seven, eight different servers running at the same time and really scale this up. And now instead of just getting one, two, or maybe three off of a public drop, now you might be getting 12 and you can easily and very quickly do this. That pretty much sums up this video on the AWS cloud server guides. This is just really great if you really want to elevate and scale up your NFT flipping. This is not only going to enable you to be a lot more successful in these different transactions, but it's going to allow you to have that scalability at a pretty affordable cost because you're only spending money when you're actually using these servers. But yeah, that's it guys, good luck. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. I'm gonna have all of the links in the description for you guys, but I hope everyone here has an awesome day.